Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Today I want to talk about what is peace. We've got to differentiate between what society in this three-dimensional world interprets as peace and what is peace really on a spiritual level. So the first one that I want to go into today is what is peace on a societal level. When we're in society, and if we look at dictionary.com, peace is a tranquility that's formed from when there is no disturbances, wars, or other disruptions to how we operate in our lives. But is that really what the interpretation of peace is actually all about? No. Because it's those inner turmoils, it's those weights upon our shoulder that we put on ourselves when we're carrying grudges, regrets and other negative traits that all collectively create an unbalanced equilibrium of our co conscious energies. So what I want to talk about today is how do we acquire spiritual peace first of all we must understand what it is it's because when I died in 2001 I knew what peace was as I floated above everybody else in the house because that was my celestial or soul energy because my dead body was three rooms away in the toilet what I felt then was nothing because balancing out that cosmic energy of our consciousness is what creates peace. Peace is when we do not get emotionally affected by what goes on around us. We don't get triggered. We don't get upset or we don't get happy as a consequence or a reaction to what has been done. An event, an occurrence, situation. Words from a family member can trigger us to have this emotional outburst. Yeah? So when we find peace, it's when nothing disturbs or disrupts our cosmic energy. We are flatlined in respect that we don't have any upwards or downward energetic reactions to what is being done to, for, against or with us. Big words from Linda today. So let's go into an exercise. Think of the last time that someone said something to you and you got angry, you got frustrated, or you just thought, Ugh. we've just all been through Christmas. I'm sure you've all got a relative that you don't want to know at Christmas, like we all do. How did you react to what they said? Because when we find that inner peace, whatever they do to us, it can't affect us anymore because we are peaceful, peaceful, peaced out. And we are so calm that nothing matters to us. Okay? I had a male friend about a year ago and he said to me one day, he said, do you care at all about me? And I said to him, I actually don't care at all what you do. Because the way I meant it was, I accept him for who he is, what he is, all his idiosyncrasies, characteristics, personality traits, etc. And I don't care because I understand He's got his own free will. He's got his own decisions. He can make up his own mind on what he wants to do. 
and he certainly never needs my permission to do it. So why would I get upset or depressed or even happy about what he wanted to do? Because when I was with him, it was peace. It was tranquil. It was calm. It was so cosmically aligned that there was no disruptions on that energy frequency that could interrupt how I felt. He took it offensively. He reacted extremely badly, attacked, abused me to the point where he told me to F off, I never want to see you again because he could not fathom the depth of what I'm talking about with peace. And I hope that you guys are understanding this, okay? So, was I upset that he left? No, because I believe people can do what they want when they want it, okay? It's only how I react to it is how I get my own affectedness of my own emotional involvement to what they've done okay so when we look at peace and we're trying to understand what it's like in heaven because there's so many NDEs that say oh it was so peaceful what are they really talking about it's talking about that cosmic realignment of energies where we don't have grudges we don't have issues. We don't get offended. We don't accuse. We don't judge. We don't have insecurities. We, we don't have overconfidence issues. We don't have any emotional attachment to what is going on. Why is it so important now to want to have peace? Because every single person out there, I shouldn't say every single person, most of every single person out there now seems to be getting offended, judging. They feel privileged. A man pushed me out of the way the other day. I was walking through a doorway. He pushed me out of the way so he could go through first. I looked at him and I said, saying, excuse me, wouldn't, wouldn't, what did I say? Saying, excuse me, um, um, wouldn't hurt. And he looked back at me like, Ugh. but then why did I even judge him anyway as to why he just ran straight through the door? He could have had a medical emergency where he's just found out that his mother's had a heart attack. She needs her something from Woolworths. So he's got to go and get that to take it to the hospital so she can put it on or whatever. How do I know what he's going through to be in such a rush? But do we have to lose our manners our courtesy and our other heavenly traits when we are in a rush. There is never a time to be nasty. There is never a time to scream, yell or inflict pain on others. There is never a time to judge and accuse why other people do whatever they do. Because is it when we sit back and we say, okay, how do I heal the situation and I'll tell you how to heal it it's when we realize that other person can do what they want I don't need to know what his rush is about because I'm not in his shoes but I accept that he's like that and I accept that he did that and I accept that I overreacted by saying oh well two words wouldn't help wouldn't wouldn't you know wouldn't um, hurt two words excuse me so why did I even say that for to keep that ripple going? Because peace does not have those ripples. Peace does not have those ups and down wave, wave, wave things of frequency. Peace is stagnant, non-affected emotion. So how do we accomplish this? And it's a learning curve. Every time you get that knee-jerk reaction, every time someone does something and you think, man, why are they doing that? I wouldn't do that. Why did you do that for? 
Take it straight back and make yourself accountable for it. And you say to yourself, why did I just react like that to him? Why did I, or her, or whoever, why did I just get my two bits in there for? And then you say to yourself, was it so necessary? No. Was it life-changing? Was it life-saving? No. Then why do you get involved with other people's energies? Because this is how we create drama queens. This is how we can we um, start getting princesses who think that they deserve the right to be in everybody's face and everyone has to know what they're doing. Okay? Because it's when we sit back and you say to yourself, I don't care what anybody else does. I'm going to love them regardless. And then you say to yourself, I don't care what people do. As long as they treat me with respect, they treat me with the same love that I send out to them. And most of all, I wish them the best that I would wish for myself. That's how we start to heal. And that's how we start to create this karmic karma. Hello, what do you think karma is? I explain it in my book. Let's go and do a quote straight now from karma. Oh my God, let me find where I talk about karma. Chapter 17 in my book. Karma was explained to me from my great, 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 great grandmother when I died in 2001. Okay. All right. Karma is that cause and effect. So it's the action and the reaction. Okay. Theory for every causation we have like an intention, which is our thoughts and actions. There is always an effect, which is the consequence. Okay, I'm reading straight from my book now on page 200 in my book. Okay, in my book, The Teachings of Heaven, I've listed the universal laws, right? Which is down further in the book. Universal law five is the law relating to karma. It is the law of cause and effect. There is always a consequence for every thought we have. There is a consequence for every intention we have because that's what we have to heal when we're standing and doing our life review like the picture here on the front cover our life review so we have to heal every action every thought which is every intention i have an intention today that i'm going to go to the shop so here i am thinking about it so it's an intention okay if we have the intention to do harm to others now i'm going to go there between Christmas and New Year, I got some pretty nasty texts from a person. So here we go. They were trying to hurt me really bad, but it didn't work because it just slipped straight off me because it, they're on a lowered vibration to me. If we have the intention to do harm to others, like this person sending me these texts, we will be harmed by others. So the person instigating it is the one who's going to feel that crunch, okay? If we have the intention to be kind, we will have that kindness return to us. This is how karma works, okay? Because when we die, we have to relive every word that we've said sarcastically, abusive or whatever to everybody ever that we've ever done. And it's tenfold. This is biblical. Okay, because I've been there and I've done this. Like thousands and thousands of other near-death experiences say, the emotions I had while I was healing all those memories was tenfold. When I hurt someone, it was tenfold the pain I felt for I was them. How many near-death experiences say this? So, when we find peace, it means that we have healed that disruption in the karmic energy that we created. I don't have to heal what you did or what Hitler did or what the Prime Minister did or what the guy down the shops did. 
I don't have to heal that for it is up to them to heal their own stuff. But as long as I heal my own reactions, which is the energy that I have created as a consequence for someone else doing something, and this is how we find peace. Peace could also be called forgiveness. For it is when we forgive those who hurt us and we forgive ourselves to be affected by what they have done unto us is when we find that peace. For the energy associated to those emotions no longer exists. And what that means is that the heightened emotions of anger or fear no longer exist because it returns to the energetic plane of peace. If you've liked this today and you wish to donate, my link is below to donate towards my cause if you've learned something. If you think there's somebody, someone like who texted me maybe, and they need to hear this, please share this video with them. Okay? And if you've got any suggestions of future videos of things that you do want to hear about, please email me below and let me know future topics that you wish for videos. This video today would not be able to be done without Be In America. Thank you so much to Be In America for giving me the idea to do a video about peace. Peace to everybody. Think about what it means. Watch, catch us next time. Bye.